gang. This is one of the spots that I'm going to choose, um, primarily because it's it's right underneath a group of oaks and um, pretty much shaded, you know, during the summertime when the leaves are out here. The fall time, the winter time, obviously not so much, nor does it even matter. But um, I'll clear this one out. It's close to where my hose is if I need to water these down. But it's also naturally damp back here, which I think they'll like too. So let me, I'll set you guys up and I'm just gonna quickly clean this up real fast. This is gonna be another spot as well. Um, very secluded underneath these pines. I think what I'll do is right over there, I'll clear out an area underneath those two big pines. And, uh, you know, that'll be my spot. Yeah, this one isn't very close to the water. The water I need is just over at this fence line over here. But um, if for some reason I do have to water and where it's a prolonged drought, I'll just do it smartly, water it and cover it with something so it doesn't evaporate and, you know, that'll limit any stress from carrying water real far. I was gonna come in here and cut, but I don't think anything really needs to be cut down. There's a couple thorny little bush, uh, rose bushes, but um, those will get trampled down as I, as I start moving stuff around back here. But I definitely, I think, yeah, right here, let me clean this up real fast. It's a nice little spot. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put a, some logs right in there. Okay. Again, excuse my appearance. It's uh, raining pretty good here on and off and I'm pretty wet. So you've heard me speak of mycelium, um, and I know most of you folks know what it is, but I thought I would dig down in here and show you what kind of soil we're working with and, and uh, what kind of conditions for mycelium. So it's, um, I'm right in this little tiny grove of pines I have, a couple big ones. But um, so the ground's covered with needles, and let's just take a peek in here. Some I kicked up that white stuff down there. That's mycelium. Um, let's pull some up here. So it often starts growing on the smallest debris first, with chips and what have you. But um, it's a pretty good look of how it starts out. And then as it grows through, it connects and it connects and it connects and it makes all these little pathways I don't know what I'm gonna fall into here digging but it creates all these little pathways there's some on the wood itself so there's a good example and this was only been on the ground a couple of years it's pine so it's really um, hunky you know and, and spongy but that's the beginning of the decay process as things break down mycelium has food sugars and stuff to cling and take off of what's you know breaking down another spot over here so so this that, that lets you know that we're in relatively good conditions for this type of stuff so that's that's where this little cove just set in here um i think it'll be good it's right near two of my trails i can get to it from uh I can get to it from multiple sides, so um, 
Yeah, that's a good little one. I'll find out. Some of these are pine, some of them are cedar. These smaller ones, I believe, are cedar right here. But pretty good little spot. That's the farthest pasture behind me. And then behind me here is our fence line, just back somewhere. Way, way back there. Right around back in there. But yeah, I think that's all, what I'll do for today. And then uh, when it's a little drier here, ironically, I'll take the saw out and cut some stuff up. It over. Yeah, I went into the woods and I found some uh, oak. And um, I said, What the hell? I'm already wet and everything. Yeah, so I cut it down. But uh, let me take you outside and I'll show you what we got here. So there it is. Um, some good sized pieces. Uh, this one I would say it's probably close to seven inches down to maybe four or five inches but it's all fresh cut. It needs a couple weeks to just sit and get the, uh, get the, I guess, tannins and stuff out of it that, that come out, but pretty happy. Um, what do I got here? One, two, three, four, five, eight, and then there's four on the other side, so 12. And then I got four hickory cut up as well, so doing pretty good. Well, good afternoon, folks. Um, I went and had lunch, took a shower. I was pretty much done with what I wanted to do today. It's it's rather humid after the rain, and I just didn't feel like being out in it. So what I ended up getting cut down was, um, you saw the 12 pieces of oak I had there. And incidentally, I should remind, or tell you why, I, they're cut to that size, roughly. Um, people who have been doing this a long time have found that it's a comfortable size, somewhere between three to maybe five, six, seven, eight inches, you know, somewhere in that realm. But you get bigger than eight inches, and the assumption is the log is going to be very heavy. And because you want it to be about 40 inches, almost four feet, you know, three and a half feet. Um, it's just, it turns out that that's a pretty comfortable size to carry around. And yeah, you do got to move your logs around, unfortunately. Um, you know, from harvest time to getting them to the job site or the site that they're going to be making the mushrooms on. What we did was I, what I've harvested, I've brought down towards the house on the trailer and we'll inoculate them right here near the house where it's convenient to use our power tools and things. And then I'll drive them up to the field where I have a, uh, um, mushroom farm and I'll put them in there um, some of the bigger logs that I have I have to do up in the woods which is fine but it's not ideal um, they're just so big and heavy that you don't want to really monkey with them but um, yeah so 12 oak I got 4 hickory logs um, I'll probably get together another bunch of logs and I think what I'll do is I'll have two lions, two groups of lion's manes growing, some on oak, some on hickory, um, two different spots of the yard, the property. And then I will do shiitake on a completely um, separate area, that pine area. And, um, you know, we'll just go from there. You know, I may see something at the end of this growing season fall. May not see anything to spring. May not see anything till next spring this one right now so excuse me two springs um so but that's that i just kind of wanted to wrap it up for you i know it was a long video and didn't really have much um it wasn't put together very well so but thanks for watching folks i hope you have a